most disappointing thing for me was having to explain to you why what I saw was problematic and why I was so upset. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's why it was, that's why it was problematic because mm -hmm. when I'm in a relationship, it means that I'm committed to that person. And commitment for me when I'm dating someone is on track to get married. And so when I questioned our relationship, it was on the context of you not fully understanding my blackness and what it means to be a black man in America mm -hmm. and what it would mean for our kids when I saw those things mm -hmm. that were floating around the internet. Mm -hmm. And it broke my heart because this is the last conversation I thought we'd be having. I, did, I didn't sign up to have this conversation. And I knew that I had to take a step back for you to put in that work that you outlined that you needed to do. And that's something that you gotta do on your own. And that's why we can't be in a relationship. Rachel, how would you communicate to Matt that the woman he fell in love with not the woman from 2018, but the woman he fell in love with is the woman sitting in front of him right now. Um, I think that's really what I tried to explain to you when we had that talk was you were the only reason that I decided to do the show. Um, and that includes every single part of you. And that obviously includes you being a black man. I've never experienced a love like this, so. I don't see anyone else out there for me. And at this point, I just don't see how I can have these same feelings for someone else. Well, Matt, um, is the door even slightly open for relationship reconciliation here? The feelings that I have for you don't go away overnight. And seeing you like this hurts. But then I ask myself, like, I don't want to be emotionally responsible for those tears because it's like the work and the reconciliation that needs to be done is, is work that I can't do for you. And I know that you're capable of doing it. And the last thing I want is for people to be calling to have you canceled or people to be calling you out for things. I really want them to call you in and I want you to do this work because that's the best thing that can come out of this. And that's something that she's got to do on her own. Rachel, you may never speak to this man again. Um, the man who held your hands at that last proposal site and said that he saw you as his wife, the mother of his children. Um, if, in fact, you do never see him again, what would you finally like to communicate with him? Since day one, all I want is for you to be happy. And I just want what's best for you. And and I am sorry. And I just, I thank God for 
never put anything in my life to begin with. And I'll always be thankful for, um, you know, everything that, that we shared and the time that we did have together.